Alright, in this video I want to do an example using de Morvier's theorem to raise a complex number to a power. And it's actually extremely easy. Um, if you have a complex number z in polar form, so r times the quantity cosine theta plus i sine theta, it says if you take your uh, complex number and raise it to a power, we just take r and raise it to that power of n, and then our angles theta, we simply multiply that by n. So actually uh, not too bad at all. A lot of times just, you know, uh, the, the time consuming part is going to be just putting it in polar form in the first place. So let's see if we, if we can squeeze it all in here. So here we're going to find the value of 2 times cosine of 60 degrees plus i sine of 60 degrees, all of that to the second power. Okay, so um, all we have to do in this case, so here to the second power, that's going to be our value of n. So here's our r, here's our theta, and our theta. This will be our value of n. So all we have to do is just plug everything into our formula. It says we would get, well, 2 to the second power. And then we would have cosine of 2 times theta, which is 60 degrees, plus i times the sine of 2 times 60 degrees. We have enough parentheses here, I think one more. Um, and now you can always clean it up a little bit. So 2 squared is 4. This will be cosine of 120 degrees plus i sine of 120 degrees. And you know, you can always keep going. You can evaluate cosine of 120, sine of 120. Um, simplify this a little further. Or we can always just leave it in the polar form. Uh, which is what I'm going to do here. So again, very simple, uh, you know, kind of a one more formula to remember, but it's easy to use. Uh, just raise your, your r to the power, multiply your thetas by that power, and you get your solution.